Welcome everybody, this is your Strategy Wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome back to the 23rd turn and versus El Kenai Destroyer, the rematch. We're playing the Union side and we are in July 1862 probably and we are one of the best phases of this campaign so far. Last turn we had a lot of huge successes, a successful landing in New Orleans or we're closing in on Nashville and also we started a kind of a, a attack at the Potomac and we're pushing further south to yeah, basically put some more pressure on Richmond. So a lot of success on several fronts um, and I'm really excited to see how the enemy reacted, how it's going on. Um, yeah, let's just go in together and watch the replay. Oh yeah, and our retreat here seems to survive, that is good, we wanted to keep this Cav Brigade. But interesting to see now that the enemy is not approaching the um, Californian column at all. Yeah, trying to push here through. Uh, let's see, now we should be more or less maybe numerically even and we can bring in some uh, HQs and still here Fort Wushida, the two, three units are not enough. Nice. Here, oh, we also had, I forgot, totally, oh, we see Mr. Lee. What? Lee is acting in Missouri? Robert E. Lee is like acting and what the hell? That is really surprising and uh, maybe I have to talk about with the enemy about like how to set proper um, centers of gravity. But I'm a little bit shocked also here she tries apparently to fill up the front line with the HQ of Johnson but this is not going to work properly. Yeah. Little mystery offensive here. The enemy sets up a new cap here in Nashville to save the day, I assume. But, uh, well, now here come the refreshments for Nashville. So she, she recognizes the importance of that one. But, uh, oh, here the monitor has only four strength. Wow. And going even further south, so um, and he's splitting up her forces here also a little bit. Very interesting, but nothing really that threatens me or where I'm shocked. That's nice to see. So I really feel like we should be able to um, maybe close in further and really um, benefit from our successes or breakthroughs from last turn. Let's see. Um, oh, it looks like our rating got also a little bit up again. We can have a look at the reports in a second together. Our uh, reinforcements for the south end coming, very nice to see. And... Okay, oh, our first, oh, we're looking forward to that one. We'll get our Shaka Max and Ironclad. Um, that should help us a lot to attack. Or it will be a nasty surprise for the enemy there with the monitors in the north and should help us to get, again, the full control of the James River entry entrance. But here, what the hell? We have Johnson here in... This is not a defensive unit, this is an HQ. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the enemy is hoping from that move. Um, yeah, the enemy tries to hold the line, but I feel like if this could have been a major mistake, because holding the line here instead of a retreat will open up for us to move even further. Unfortunately, we don't have any reconnaissance down here to have a look if Fredericksburg is occupied, otherwise our marines could just easily storm it already. Well, well, well. At least the enemy stopped her attacks on Fort Monroe down here. <laughs> Maybe probably also some of these divisions have been withdrawn up or to Tappahannock or Fredericksburg, probably. I, I would do that for sure. All right. Um, yeah, this one. But the most shocking for me is, to be honest, over here that we see Gen Robert E. Lee here in somewhere in, in Arkansas or Missouri where he's... This is absolute side front. Um, I mean, yeah, the enemy by this move basically opened up this pocket again. So there is supply the enemy units but in general moving him down here is kind of a waste in my opinion uh, Van Buren here uh, we are also suffering here from very huge supply problems but yeah it is what it is I mean Van Buren seems to be not really protected or defended so maybe we can have a look on that one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. interesting yeah, for Toshida, same stuff as always. And over here, also an interesting, I totally forgot in the beginning of this video to talk about the um, Californian column. That's, yeah, I don't know if the enemy didn't notice them. I think they should be mentioned in the events and so forth. 
Maybe we can really, like, with these, I mean, there's only three units, but maybe we can use them to fall in their flanks. At the same time, can be here is coming down to support these units. So, yeah, 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 the summer is playing quite nicely for us. Down here, uh, New Orleans has been taken already. And we do have another landing ship um, in control. So, if we manage to get, maybe get control of the Mississippi River down here, we could even go in and maybe try to go for Baton Rouge directly. But we shall see, we shall see. Um, yeah. Once again, I'm quite excited. <laughs> what new units are available for us? Oh, yeah, these three divisions and the Ironclad. And let's have a quick look at the reports as well. Convoys. Um, no, rating, I mean. Um, uh, losses from enemy activity, of course, that's done here. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not wrong. Actually, my rating has gone up again after the short pause that they when the enemy managed to open up our blockade a little bit yeah good to see apart from this um let's have a look is there any research activity we need to do it uh, it has been a while uh, at least a month uh, a week since i produced last so maybe i forget something but now we're at the limit over here and in terms of diplomacy Hoo, hoo, hoo. Actually, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the seizure of New Orleans basically dropped, it looks like it dropped the um, diplomatic stance of France, Spain and the UK by 20 to 30 percent. So I'm absolutely fine over here. And actually nice, nice to see that the Confederacy is the first time in a fighting spirit under 100 percent. While, yeah, this is still, this is the main, for, um, main advantage of the enemy still. But we have gotten or climbed up from eight from under and under eighty already to over eighty this or last term by the seizure of New Orleans, so it was quite important. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, last turn. Uh, the success of last turn is absolutely represented in our fighting spirit. Okay, guys. As always, I'm have I'm going to have a deeper look on everything, and I'm gonna come back and report to you. Or we execute the actions together in a second. So see you in a second. Alright guys, we are back and as always we start off in the very west uh, and yeah, let's see what we can do over here, what the um, uh, uh, Californian column can achieve. Most definitely we need to retreat these guys, bring them close to Paracha because yeah, I knew these guys here have basic surprise zero, they walked up here, this regiment. It's not going to achieve anything, so we can actually use our very much hurt uh, cavalry brigade to attack them, but that's okay. Um, here I want to perform a exchange. Just to make sure and refresh those guys. Um, I think here we can a little bit counter attack, attack yeah, from Fort Thorn. And we definitely move Mr. Canby down here, yeah. Um, I mean, with Karlst we already have a quite um, good general over here. Let's get some reconnaissance with the brigade, uh, with the calf, yeah. And we can take Ojo de Vaca without any problems. However... And we will. Thing is that those little villages don't rep uh, uh, supply us with any uh, supply. Hmm. But if as long as there's nothing here, I'd rather really threaten them hard. Yeah, let's do it. Let's move up here, these guys. I think like this is a good idea and then here from Charleston from Fort Bowie, yeah, they get enough supply up here and uh, maybe they run in their, their panic if they see them here, I don't know. Um, there needs to be some kind of reaction by the enemy, I'm sure, but let's see what happens next turn. So I'm going to play it slow over here and just stay here in my defensive position and see how the Confederacy reacts over here. All right, coming to... Um, the Midwest, or let's say Arkansas, Missouri, and so forth. Um, Fort Washita. I can only supply and resupply them to four this turn. I don't know if this is going to be the end next turn, but uh, as, as always mentioned, they last anyways for that long already. Fort Gibson here, yeah, we're going to reinforce them for sure. And here the enemy's natives are pushing back to trying to get back to Lassi. Um, yeah, but these are not really. Dangerous. Okay, the packaging starts again. Annoying. And we have a good base over here in Custanala, so... 
I just want to weaken them further. And of course from here I'm trying to... And circle them again. I don't know, how, I'm not 100% sure, I have to check it out how the supply system works actually for the uh, for the natives. Um, I think they should be cut off supply now, but I think they always got a little bit through the plains and also makes sense. I really just hope they can't reach Kustinar from here, but yeah, worst case we lose it and then we just try to slip through somewhere else. The most important thing is to keep them occupied here, to be honest. And yeah, everything else is secondary. Alright, coming here to the most... Shocking for me personally, uh, revelations this turn. Why uh, that we see Robert E. Lee somewhere here in the southern Missouri in swamps or forests, um, start with like these little divisions. Yeah, the supply situation is tough, but it's also such a irrelevant front. It's just like skirmishing for me, at least. My I don't put any big efforts here, so let's see what we can do. And still, I feel like we can achieve something. What I want to do first is maybe actually taking out here the these guys in a fire at will since I realized. Uh, with the support of Freeman, we do have a solid chance to attack them. So let's do that. Um, because from here, if we take fire, well, we can bring in some supplies over here. So basically making our situation way, way easier. Yeah. So you guys can open there. Oh, nice. And successfully done already. Basically, now we can take even Van Buren from here. Excellent. Ooh, and Fort Smith is not even occupied. So with a little bit of luck, we can go over here the Arkansas River and get there at some point. Yeah, and we cut the enemy forces, I think, in half. Like, the Indians are here and we are putting pressure here on these dudes. Also, this probably helps us a lot in getting supply down here. And Mr. F yeah, then you can go to P. Rich again, I think. Should be the smartest here, Mr. Freeman. Yeah. And they are only supplied through this, like, nasty little... Not nasty, but... Little, little... Ring here, I, I guess. And we can't really destroy with these... Um, uh, with these regiments, we can't really destroy them right now or attack them on their retreat. But I would still try to do at least a little bit. I miss maybe the HQ. Oh, yeah, we can deal one damage to, the, to Mr. Lee. That's nice to see. Whilst the guys here in Carrollton get the infantry tech one. And yeah, this is a very nice outcome, I would say. Let's have a look at the partisans. Not that we're spawning them again. No, nope, they're free. And yeah. I mean, the, the partisans are strong, but if I have like an HQ and uh, really troops adjacent to the beginning of the turn, as you saw, we can take them out. So I think the enemy was relying a little bit too much on... Uh, the idea that those guys can defend fired well while the divisions are working their way through the... If you're from the south of Missouri, let me know. I don't know what is this. Is this jungles or bushlands or forests? Uh, I can't tell for, tell for sure. However, rough terrain. And yeah, this side front turns into... It's still a side front, but it turns into some kind of success story for us, which is interesting. Anyways, talking about success for the enemy. Um, here in Poplar Bluff. Um, those guys are hurting us quite badly. Um, and for this reason I'm going to retreat with this brigade to Greenville. And these guys are going to be reinforced. Um, I don't know how, for how long I can really withstand a substantial attack up here. However, I will definitely later set up also troops in Cairo. And it was mentioned in the comments that I might underestimate the threat coming here. But I don't think so, guys. Like, there's... Coming to the Mississippi River, maybe they will achieve that. But if I bring in some, such, some reinforcements to Cairo, this is easy to defend whilst up here as well so I'm ready to give up this share of Missouri again if necessary but yeah I'm happy if the enemy invests strong troops but I'm really surprised that like if there was an offensive plant then why isn't Lee here you know I'm gonna talk to, to the enemy at some point when I see her in person but for now I'm just wondering and uh, um, but also I'm happy of course <laughs> all right coming to the Tennessee front let's say my one of the most interesting ones in the last turns where we're closing absolutely in on Nashville, but definitely see still with the build up here that the enemy is investing heavily still and having two cores and a couple of divisions. That lag somewhere else. Um, let's see how we do it, but maybe let's have a look first over here in, uh, in the western side of Tennessee where Grant is pushing towards Memphis. And let's maybe check out. Oh, he's running into a timber clad here. 
Our timber clad needs to be get repaired for sure. These ones, this gunboat can be upgraded. Let's take out that timber clad now. Nice. And how strong is this? Let's attack it nevertheless. Slowly grinding these fortresses down. And yeah. Alright, so much about the river activities. So over here, before the enemy sets up new troops or brings in new troops to support Memphis, I absolutely want to get in position to attack it, so these dudes go down here. And I wait one more turn until um, the next one, so I have the prepared bonus. Bringing also these guys here, the force march to Randall. Do we have any partisans in the area? Nope. Good to know. Um, so they have them prepared. I feel like, yeah, sure, why are the western banks here from the Mississippi? There might be still supply possible, or not supply, um, reinforcements, basically. But, so far, so good. Um, I feel like if, if there's just one brigade, of course, we're gonna take Memphis quite quickly. Alright, and talking about fighting spirit objectives and taking stuff, let's take the cavalry, the Torbat cavalry, and see if Corinth is defended. Okay, interesting. That was... Well, I didn't actually ex see that coming. That means, or in the end, that we have to move down one division over here as well to attack them soon. Here next to Shiloh. Yeah, but one division is not, uh, one brigade is of course not so much. Um, question is, I should. In this case, I'm gonna bring these troops back. Maybe I'd give them some rest and some reinforcements over here. Yeah, they will be still able to um, get involved in the Battle of Memphis if they need to. And uh, these guys then, in this case, a supply looking. Not great over there. Um. <laughs> Bring them here next to Corinth already. I think I will need them to reconnect over here this entirety. And here these guys, may I mean, not these guys, Mr. Grant uh, himself. I'll move him. Let's have a look if this was a good decision. Yeah, we absolutely in good, well, nice supply over here and he should be able to... Maybe move him here. Because in like this he can even command these troops over here. Excellent, yeah. This is how it's supposed to be. And then, yeah, um, maybe we can take both Corinth. Uh, Corinth is going to be harder with just one division in the end of these two attacking. But Memphis looks absolutely feasible for next turn. Very nice development. And yeah, so much about here the western part of uh, Tennessee. And then let's get to the more complicated ones here next to Nashville. Um... I mean, these troops have also not all of the morale. 57, they, they've been reinforced all the time and been in a constant battle, so they're also not super fresh and as strong as these appear. But nevertheless, it is a massive force that the enemy is still put in. Let's have a look how we act over here. So those guys, and I realized we have still again a, part, again a partisan problem, so I think the cavalry over here I bring to Shelbyville to keep on having... Um, Reconnaissance to the rear of Nashville area over here and also maybe next to us sooner or later uh, uh, Well, not really they have some supply down here and their fighting value is quite limited I just want them for the uh, yeah as a trap for retreating units Maybe or in the end for having more reconnaissance in this area and I think for this they would it serve us pretty well Then this brigade over here in the front lines. Yeah, This one here is going to serve a sim sim uh, similar purpose. Basically, I'm going to retreat them to keep them alive and maybe do some, like, yeah, backcountry tasks over here. Um, for the moment, I just keep them here. This calf, the blunt calf in Pulaski. Well, well, this is a... I mean, Chattanooga over here, over here is obviously an interesting target. But also I could use them to catch up quicker here with the Western forces and to help out maybe over here even in Corinth. 
So let's do this for this turn. Make Florence. And move already over here to, to Luca. So yeah, next turn we should definitely... Or no, I don't know if two Cuff and one Division are enough. But hopefully we can take out Corinth and then have actually a connection down here to Decatur, which is quite nice. And here I'm gonna end Decatur talking about our like small landing force here with the River Ambitious Landing from the Grover Divisions. Let's, I'm gonna risk the ambush and go to Huntsville. Okay, um, they are ambushed, but no damage done. Huntsville is taking off some damage, so yeah, this is okay. Let's retreat. And good to know that we have another brigade down here. And of course they can go take fire at will or whatever, but we don't need that here so badly. It's just basically to cut the connections for Nashville. Um, Alright, and now talking about Nashville once again, let's get to the top part. Where we need to have a look how to handle those. And reconsidering everything, I feel like taking out Lebanon is basically of utmost importance since this enables us to do a full and proper river crossing, bring our um, our railroad battery that we brought here for the first time into real good shooting position on Nashville itself. So I'm gonna try to take out Lebanon to basically move in here uh, and then get prepared by this. Yeah, of course, these guys could easily take out the division. That's there's no doubt of that. Which would be actually quite expensive since we don't have really, really good supply. So maybe I would also not like to stand directly next to Nashville until we have the surroundings really clear, um, cleared out. Yeah, I was really a little bit prematurely happy or excited to maybe take them out, but with them I mean like to, to get Nashville very soon, but the enemy is really reinforcing heavily. So yeah, we need to have some patience over here, but it's okay. Just just found this timber clad, which we will use to also take Huntsville a bit. We'll put them to Decatur Harbor. Alright, right, back back to Nashville and what I was talking about. Okay, then let's focus on Lebanon as as promised. Let's use the railroad artillery for the first time and fire a shot here in Lebanon. Um yeah, this was meant Lebanon is losing supply value basically with it. But also they lose entrenchment and some morale normally. So this is okay. Um, what we need to do? Let's even let's even take do this attack with this very sh um, yeah Lockwood division, which is like very badly hurt. Since oh no, come on! <laughs> okay, I thought the problem. Uh, Prognosis was way better. Uh, this what might have been a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting too greedy, maybe. Anyways, let's wait. Okay, this is actually quite tragic. I can't even bring these dudes in. Why? Because the river crossings is so bad. Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, then. Maybe forget what I just said. Can I shuffle them and we need to get those boys out because I don't want to make them ha have them as the most easiest prey for this for this Nashville course. And actually I'm gonna retreat these guys also one step, so I think I'm gonna keep um, Nashville isolated like this for a second. These guys can be upgraded then. Um in the meantime. Yeah, and then will I go for then let's maybe take out actually here these these divisions. So yeah, if we can't probably utilize our troops here, I don't want to risk having an open flank from both sides and in the end getting really beat apart ourselves. All right, then bring in these troops from Springfield. Gilbert can stick here. I feel like he's a little bit protected by this harbor field actually. Why this attack? Oh. Yeah, well, this is not really amazing what we're doing here. I'm not excited. Let's see, we're just gonna use the cup here to check what's going on in the rear. Yeah, at least we can take Carthage and thereby basically cut them off from any supply. Or not any supply, once again, I don't wanna be taking the wrong assumptions, but at least we are lowering the supply and making it way harder for them. So you guys have to stick in position. This brigade needs to be reinforced. This 
division can be reinforced. And here this division can get some infantry upgrade. Ooh, yeah, it's not as smooth as I thought, but once again, the enemy also invested heavily, which I don't know if I would have necessarily done this. But it's a really, uh, it's a, it's definitely the move that is absolutely understandable. Nevertheless, these guys moved down to Danville, and I think that's already it for Tennessee area also. Probably we're gonna drop, yeah, we're definitely gonna drop some reinforcements, both in Cairo and Frankfurt, because I want to keep this going in Nashville. So, yeah, I really want to, Nashville to fall soon. Or at least by the end of the year, this would be the main target, despite our other successes, other fronts. And talking about other successes, other fronts, let's go here to the east, to the Potomac front, basically. And we're in the Shenandoah Valley. We are staying defensively. Just refresh our brigades here. And yeah, to have them ready for the next turns. And over here, this is the real interesting part, where the enemy thinks she can fill up the gaps in the front with the Johnston HQ which will be hopefully a costly maneuver and to do so let's see we have Garibaldi here who is controlling whom 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 let's detach all the irrelevant troops that are not that definitely attach this guy this division here and also I think these brigades Harlek can do this as well can just uh, should have detached them first oh god this is sometimes, yeah, but definitely the pioneers don't need any leadership right now. Yeah, guys, this is a tip always that I rarely follow myself. But um, if you start a turn, maybe make sure that the first thing you do is like attach the units to the right generals. Kind of can, can be kind of valuable. Um, nevertheless, yeah, Alec. Okay, let's see how far we can go but we do have also our two fresh divisions here that can help us out so yeah and as you see it was a zero to three three damage prediction before we put in garibaldi but garibaldi with its eight uh, eight leadership skill our best general by far it's like we pushing it to the prepared bonus by 50 percent leading to yeah that we're taking johnson out quite easily so let's see Hang. five damage um and to be honest i just maneuver them out Oh god, this packaging there is so annoying. Um, yeah, can he do, do some substantial damage? I don't know. Let's bring this, this division out first. Um, shall we do this with the marines? I think so, because otherwise we just want them to flee or take Fredericksburg. Let's try it. Uh, two damage at least. I think I'm definitely gonna go for him, but first let's try it also to uh, actually enlarge in this breach. And take out also this division, uh, this brigade I mean. And maybe shuffle them... Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, how do we do it the smoothest way? I'm just wondering... I kind of think this brigade should be enough to take out this brigade, right? Or also Johnston's, but let's definitely go here. But Johnston is easy prey, so let's take out the big... Ah, oh god, actually good. That is something, and it looks like that the enemy's rear here is also open, wide open. So I'm gonna move this brigade just here to cover Brandy Station. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Guys, 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 I feel like the enemy is not gonna love the replay. Then we definitely take out Johnson here, and we use the cavalry to re push down here to see if Frederick Frederick's is being occupied, okay. So these guys, after the attack, I can't do anything. I will retreat them to this little forest here. These guys can go to Alexandria. Let's reduce the zone of control maybe of the enemy a bit. Ah, uh, it's hard. 
Okay, these guys can't come to an attack anymore. Not really. No. It's wondering if I should further weaken the position of the enemy over here, and I think so. If you have this two, yeah, let's do it. Reducing the enemy's reserves in the area is for sure helpful. Um, We'll make her worry, let's see. Gonna eat up resources for sure, that's important. And then let's just move in these guys. Our oh, marines still have uh, proper reinforcements here. Yeah, they get good supply from Port Tobacco, that's good. Um, I wanted to reinforce the gunboat, but then let's just... And let's do it since they're already in the harbor. Let's use this gunboat to have another shot at this guy. Then I think this brigade can be actually reinforced, and these guys move in here with forced march into this position, and thereby open up here. Um, yeah, fortunately we couldn't reconnect here with our marines, but in the end it's not so relevant. The enemy supply should be maybe kind of nice from Fredericksburg, but uh, looks like we moved up basically uh, the front from the Potomac with this surprising attack that both i didn't really plan like two or three turns earlier and the enemy apparently didn't expect either we moved the front line from the potomac to the tapahannock river um also yeah adding up to our successes in the um, success in the in the mid also some success in the east so wow i'm impressed uh, so far what is from what is happening yeah these turns in summer x62 are really long i don't know why Still haven't found anything about where this packaging is coming from and what to do about it so yeah we gotta live with it for the moment and then let's go to our atlantic fleet um reinforce the frigate that we brought here then we have a fresh um gunboat and we do have our repaired monitors so actually now i'm happy to attack the slightly damaged and credit mod as well oh nice three damage um oh Sad, they ran out, but okay. Then I actually feel like with the the other gunboats, I can really move like further down south. So we have to because we definitely need them down here. Then the damaged frigates need to go to proper port. So let's bring them up with just a big day. And this frig frigate is ready to ride. So is this. Gunboat, more reinforcements for the south. This frigate here in Wilmington needs to be repaired. Is Wilmington a bad? No, you can only do five a turn apparently with ships. And here the Massachusetts gunboat. I kind of feel like in the south we don't need so much reinforcements anymore, so I can actually leave them here, and I will, yeah, since we reinforced the south quite properly already. And these guys, okay. Major frigate. Ah, oh, yeah, here was the other frigate and the other monitor. So actually, it's maybe a good idea to bring some reinforcements here and surprise them if there's a new one. Okay, rating intensifies. Down here, we can't do anything. However, the convoy lines are under pressure. But apart from this one, we need here somebody to take care of this. Um, but yeah, as you, as you saw, our reinforcements are being, our ships are being repaired, our reinforcements are incoming, so I do feel optimistic about getting those lines under attack very soon too. Okay, and now coming to maybe my, if not favorite, but the newest front that we opened up the very south, where we did um, take New Orleans last turn, and we have still somebody in ships and reinforcements incoming, so let's see what we can do. Um, starting off over here, let's kill this timber clad that the enemy took to the basically next to New Orleans and destroy that so we can probably use the, the harbor and let's see hey so I oh no oh that's sad I Looks like we can't utilize since we just took the harbor now and was occupied. At least the enemy achieved something with it. We cannot utilize it right now and thereby... I wanted to drive up this landing force up the river and maybe go to... Best case, go to Baton Rouge. 
Um, so maybe it looks like we've got to wait for one turn, which is okay. These guys can also chill here in the meantime. And now it's working. Okay, it was just a just a ah, calculation time. All good, all good, all good. Then let's see if Bed Rouge is Baton Rouge. It is not occupied. However, the Timberclad here will attack us as, uh, during the landing. Oh no, uh, Wolf. Not very smart. Um, I didn't count the action points and therefore it is stuck over here. So we can't even, we can land here. One, but I think it just have after landing, there will be only one or two movements. I think it won't be enough. I'm a little bit too insecure right now about this, so... God damn it. Um, we will wait one more turn, it's okay. In the meantime, this... Worst case, we can... Like, we have it here as in reserve, so we can, worst case, still redirect them also towards Mobile Alabama or something like this, which is also a fighting spirit objective. But to be honest, um, I would rather push up the Mississippi than establishing something at the Alabama River. But let's see. Let's see. Um, our frigate here goes back to... Definitely back to convoy hunting. Yes. These gunboats. Let's try definitely to take out this port now here. Okay. Should be no problem at all. No problem at all, of course, it doesn't. Get there. So we'll take out the enemy's eyes here in the region, I would say. Um, yeah, let's break it away here. You can repair the support tokens, and this guy can repair over here. And you guys can get moved back towards New Orleans. So we keep the AVL in, um, here down here in New Orleans, or like in the mouth of the delta of the Mississippi in position and then let's bring up uh, okay thank god there's nothing no enemy ships out here would have been surprising basically but let's move our reinforcement up in the mississippi delta as well so next time we can basically land two divisions and an hq also in new orleans um which will be helpful for sure okay let's just put on to our board what we can do and I kind of feel like this is, at this point, everything we can do. Yeah, it's definitely set up the new units. So we've got two, the Osterhaus Division, MacArthur Division and Casey Division. And... Hmm... I have too many successful fronts right now that can all use reinforcements. That's like the problem. Definitely one, just in case, um, goes to the Osterhaus Division, goes to Cairo as uh, either to reinforce the defense or to be helping out down here. But as I said, the main target was Nashville, not Richmond. This, I mean, not like we could catch Richmond easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Difficult. So, actually, I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to go supply, put some more down here, and I'm going to put the case division here in... Next to DC, so some to keep the offensive potential rolling, and maybe it's for example this brigade I can move somewhere else, so slowly replacing these brigades from the main front with stronger units. And the ironclad down here, um, I want to surprise the enemy, so not in DC, but in Annapolis. Um, yeah, from here on, if the enemy doesn't remove the monitor here, I feel like with the ironclad we should be able to take out the first monitor next turn. Let's see. Um, yeah, and before I can finish off the turn, of course, I have another packaging event. What can we do with 760 MPPs left? I assume it's going to be two divisions. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty boring, of course, but let's see. Or actually, I want another cavalry division, maybe here for the east, since we keep on started moving here. And the cavalry has been proven quite helpful for us, so let's get the buffered cavalry. Or 394. Oh, that's not the. I'm, I'm getting too quick these days. Uh, we can't afford a division after the calf. Hmm. So we could afford two standard divisions now, then we, we need to keep it rolling. Um, therefore, let's get the. Uh, oh no, again, look for funny names. Oh, the Potter division. 
And let's get also the Palmer division. Leaving us with 129, that could give us a river gunboat or a gunboat. I kind of, maybe a river gunboat would be nuts, since we are like fighting ourselves here up and using, we're really utilizing them a lot. But to be honest, most of the targets have been taken out also, so already. So actually we're going to save them up. Let's save it up. Uh, we can for sure, soon we need cores and so forth. Hopefully soon. Yeah, maybe next turn already. So yeah, we will need a lot of MPPs anyway, so I'm going to save them up. Um, to pacify also some of the audience. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. All right, so there's nothing else to do. Um, we didn't take any fighting spirit object objectives this turn as far as I remember, but we took out, of course, another HQ with the, uh, making it the fourth HQ we're destroying. I don't know, the enemy might have to learn a little about how to handle these battles. <laughs> it's like using them in the first front line is definitely not a good idea. Um, and we broke through here next to Alexandria, pushing it down to the Tapahanok and yeah. The enemy is in a bad dilemma. Will she reinforce further Nashville or like just maybe Richmond needs more protection now? And here I think if the enemy wants to use the troops, she has to be offensive or move them out. And yeah, I hope about these guys, I'm a little bit worried to be honest. Yeah, it's not as simple as it um, seemed to be. I got a little bit too excited, but still I'm quite excited. And um, yeah, I see Lee over here is also... Pet uh, I thought he would be for sure here at the Potomac, but transporting him there, that's the interesting maneuver, let's say. All right, guys, let's finish the turn together and see if any events occur or not. Vision loss, yeah. Loyal Indians form a new unit in Kansas, the Indian Home Guard. Ah, oh, yeah, that was one of the events we had pretty early. Pro-Union bands cause disruptions in Missouri. Oh, nice. That's actually, in this case, quite helpful. Uh, here we get all pro-Union. Again, help us a little bit as well. Savannah blockade. The massive fire devastates the Tradiger Iron Ironworks in Richmond. This should, yeah, this damages the industry for a little bit. Yeah, it comes in a nice time. We get the core organization, so yeah, next turn we're gonna buy the first ones over here. And yeah, after all, we end up with 1284 since we're still buying the Canby HQ in the West. But soon we're gonna be at higher uh, MPP in. Income as well. All right, long turn, still a lot to do. Hot summer. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments or let me know what your strategies and ideas and so forth would be. And of course, if you haven't yet, it would be amazing if you leave me a like and subscription since it costs you nothing and motivates me a lot and mod pushes the channel to the top. <laughs> and of course, most importantly, see you next time with the next episode by your Strategy Wolf.